Once again, you are welcome to the interview platform of the 42nd anniversary of the Diocese of Egba Anglican Communion. Standing with me is the Senior Secretary, Barrister Venerable Adekunle. Baba, you are welcome, sir. Yes, thank you very much. And I also want to congratulate you um, for the grace the Lord has given us for witnessing to witness this occasion. And particularly, we must congratulate our Lord Bishop, uh, the Brad Reverend Dr. E. O. Adekule, who is the incumbent bishop of a bad house at this time. But one must remember all the people that had served even before his lordship. Uh, the, at this time, it's for us to remember people who we can call saints triumphant, who the Lord has used greatly for this diocese. Um, the Bishop Adeniyi, that Reverend Adeniyi, who was the, the, the bishop who started at the inauguration of a bad diocese in 1976. Um, when it was Egba, Egba do Dauces. After him was Bishop T.I. Akitayo, who also served diligently for a couple of years before Right Reverend Dr. M.O. or Wadayo, before the incumbent who started off about nine years ago. So we have all the calls to glorify the name of the Lord and to bless the Lord for what he has done for us in this diocese since it started 42 years ago. The Jesus Carnival, celebration of Jesus as it's been called, has been in existence four, five, six, seven years. Can you tell us one or two things the diocese have gained or has achieved through the celebration of Jesus in the city of Eba and in Nigeria by uh, at large? Uh, first of all, it has brought in, it's, it's, a, it's for evangelism and a number of people have, through the carnival, through the going along uh, the streets of Egba land, of Abelkuta particularly, and even people coming from the rural areas. When we started, we had um, vehicles and a lot of people moving along the streets. So we had a number of people who are not Christians who joined the processions. And this brought, into them, this brought them into Christianity. Uh, the, all the Jesus carnivals I've been having have had evangelistic um, crusades, as it were, bishops from other places, priests from other places coming to minister. And again, that has brought in a lot of people who, by the grace of God and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, uh, brought in to become Christians. Uh, finally, we find out that most time when we celebrate the celebration of Jesus, is is a carnival like in the town. Everybody will ask you, what are you doing in your church? What's happening in your church? What's this? What's that? And we see the whole church, the whole town, agog, celebration all around. Now, as, as how, how, how far has that laid impact in the lifestyle of Anglicans in Egba? Well, uh, Anglicans in Egba Dowsis particularly, um, a, number, a number of us have become evangelical. Evangelical. That means now that we have had to go out and minister. Number one. Number two. A lot of churches are becoming conscious of the fact that evangelism goes beyond what we do inside the churches, but going out to the streets, going out from house to house to um, propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Then number three. A number of churches have grown out of this evangelism have um, become planted in almost every area of um, of Abelkut and Egba land. In the last 10 years, in the last 9 years when the incumbent uh, took office, we have had over 150 churches, I mean over 75 churches that have been planted. And uh, we even met um, about um, 150 churches at that time, we know now we are about um, uh, over 225 churches that have been planted since uh, in Egba land since um, its inauguration for two years ago. The title or the theme given for this year is Jesus of Nazareth, Imri. What exactly are we trying to point out from the diocese and the uh, end? Well, Jesus of Nazareth, King of Jews, Imri, in Latin it says, uh, is, is Jesus of Nazareth uh, king of the Jews. But what we are saying essentially is that the Jesus we preach, the Jesus that had been uh, day and that, that God uh, that has been prophesied 
by um, Isaiah, who will come in to be the king of kings, the, king, the prince of prince, the, uh, the one who will bring up joy, who will bring up, who will also be God for us. So that Jesus is the Jesus we are preaching at this time, the Jesus we are propagating at this time, and the Jesus we are preaching to the world. That if the world accept Jesus as Lord and Master, the King of Kings, upon whose or boys whose neck, whose head will be the government of the world, there will be peace in the world. That's what we are preaching at this time, and that's why we are, we are God with carnival. Once again, uh, we've been speaking with the, the Synod Secretary, Barisca Venerable Adokunle. Well, thank you for coming with us. Thank you.